Hello, I'm Avoiding Relegation, and welcome to Wingers Make the Best Mazalas. This is a new kind of video for me. Um, basically, what this video is about is uh, I've discovered in-game that uh, wingers appear to make very good mazalas. And, and obviously, it's a sweeping statement. But what I'm going to do, um, basically, in the video is start off by showing you where I discovered it and uh, those first initial examples. Plus, uh, I've since proven that it works again, I guess, in a different save, which I'm also going to show you. And then the third and final part of this video is we're going to do a quick experiment. Now, obviously, as I've mentioned, wingers make the best mazalas. The experiment will be uh, to play a match. Um, I'm going to use Juventus. But what I'm going to do is bring in basically some of the best wingers in the world. So, um, for example, Ronaldo is obviously already at Juventus, so we use him. We're going to bring in Messi and then a couple of other people as well. And we're going to play in a match. The first half, we're going to have, um, as I say, we're going to play two Mazalas using this formation, in fact. Um, as I say, and they're both going to be, those spots are going to be filled by wingers. So, and then second half, two more wingers will come in. And basically the idea being to see at the end of the match just how they performed. Okay, so first things first, what is a Mazala? There are, of course, a number of videos out there which actually explain the role a lot better than I'm about to. But basically I'm just going to give you the information that is actually on Football Manager itself, when you look at the information button, it says the Mazala. This is the modern interpretation of the Mazala, a central player that likes to drift wide and operate in the half spaces. The Mazala is essentially a central slash half winger who likes to do his defending slightly further up the field, although he does generally have less defensive responsibility. So, again, the reason why I chose to sort of try a winger in a central position was obviously because I had injury issues and all the rest of it. But, like I say, the, the kind of the other key point of trying a winger out in there was the fact that uh, the Mazala is essentially referred to as a half winger. So it seemed like a, a, I guess, a logical choice. It just turns out that it worked a lot better than I thought it would. So where did I first come across this? Um, basically, it was with my Halifax Wanderer save. It was with the first one and the second one, bearing in mind I've been two. There's one with the standard ba database and then, of course, the Halifax Redux save, which was done with the Canadian uh, Mega Patch. Um, basically, I ended up playing a narrow formation probably halfway through my uh, initial save, which obviously got uh, canned because of the bugs. Um, and then in the second save, I actually started off directly with said narrow formation. So uh, Alex Marshall, who you see here, and, and this is him as he starts out in game. Uh, basically, when you start up a new save, this is Alex Marshall who appears. You'll notice that he is sort of considered competent in the central midfielder role, but obviously he is not all that. Well, once you've played him there as a Mazala for a while, like I say, he does do a very good job he does improve, improve quite dramatically. So here he is. Once he's uh, improved and become a Mazala, this is obviously in the second save. He's up to 25 now, but as you can see, he is a natural Mazala. And uh, you can see by his performance and his average rating and stuff, he loves being a Mazala. 10 games, 7 goals, 4 assists. It's just been absolutely stunning. Now, obviously, he's not the actual only Halifax Wanderers player that I've used as a winger. The other person to mention is Alessandro Riggi. Now, this is him when he starts off. If you'll notice, he doesn't actually have any familiarity with a central midfield role at all. Now, unfortunately, he has actually retired in my save. So this is obviously what he looks like post-retirement. So I don't have, unfortunately, his form. But of those 19 games and two goals that he got uh, whilst playing for Halifax Wonders FC, seven of those were the uh, Island games. And the following 11 were basically where he played as a Mazala for us and, and did all right. It's just, unfortunately, when we let him go, he retired. Nobody else picked him up, which kind of surprises me, because like I say, he was not a bad winger and could have very good games, but was a little bit inconsistent. When I played him as a Mazala, whilst he didn't necessarily have these outstanding games, what he did have was a regular, consistent rating uh, that was above average. Um and like I say, obviously we brought in better players to replace him, but it was still a very, very good performance. Now, the final player I want to show you from the Halifax Wanderers save is Max Gentanano. He's only 18 years old. He came in as a youth player. Um, and as you can see, he's got an orange dot in there at the moment for his central midfield, but he did start out with none. I immediately had him training as a Mazala as soon as he came in. And his debut in the Canadian Premier League spring season, as you can see down here, he uh, where he's got obviously the average rate of 7.2 for that one game. Um, he appeared once at score once on his debut, which I know is not, you know, not impossible, but nevertheless, it was still a good thing. And obviously, he's only played on this two games and scored one goal with an average rating of 6.9, which, again, isn't fantastic. But for a young man who's only two-star ability and is supposed to be a right winger, 
for him to be able to do that in the first team was actually, I felt, pretty good. And uh, though it doesn't show it here, I've obviously played him a few times in that position fairly comfortably. And uh, again, it just feels like he's a little bit more consistent. Same with um, Alessandro Riggi playing as, sorry, Alessandro Riggi um, playing as a Mazzala role. So it led me on to experiment further. So the second place where I have sort of proved to myself, if we will, or, or added to my belief that uh, wingers make the best Mazalas is I've started up a new save uh, fairly recently with Manchester United using the uh, custom database from the Mad Scientist is 0102 database, which is absolutely stunning. But like I say, I've started off with this narrow formation and obviously uh, with Man United now. We'll start with Beckham. Beckham has been playing as a Mazala now for four games in a row. And as you can see, his form has been so superb. Average rating of 7.6. And average rating of 7.5 with a goal. 7.5 again. And then uh, 7.3, even though we lost against Liverpool. So he had a stunner. But like I say, he's not played bad in most positions I've put him in. So it shouldn't be too, too surprising. It is, of course, David Beckham, right? So I played him as a wide playmaker, which... He didn't mind, but he didn't, I say, in, in these areas. He wasn't, I guess, consistent enough or particularly good necessarily as a wide player maker. So I moved him over to be an inverted winger, which did work out better for him. Um, and he did play as a wide playmaker again against Charlton and actually have a corking game. But uh, like I say, playing as a Mazala for those last four matches, I mean, that's that's a very, very solid continual, you know, form playing in a role that perhaps is not necessarily considered your number one role. And the other person to look at, and, and this guy's really the standout, is none other than Ryan Giggs. Ryan Giggs is definitely a left winger. He's always played as a left winger, but do you know what? He has now been playing as Mazzal of how many games? Three games he's played. First game, 8.4, got two assists. Second game, 9.8, two goals and two assists. Third game, 8.3 with a goal and assist. He's just been stunning in those games, which is not to say his form prior to that, you know, wasn't good. It's been pretty good playing as a winger. But if you look, not necessarily 100% consistent, if you know what I mean. The West Ham and Southampton games, he wasn't very good. Inverted winger against Leeds, he didn't like. Um, was better against uh, Derby and Liverpool, but like I say, as a Mazala... He's knocked it out of the park. I mean, in fact, if you look at how many assists he's, he had playing as a wide player before he became a, a, a central player, he had one goal, sorry, two goals and one assist. And just in three games, he's now managed five assists and three goals. So, like I say, he seems to like being a Mazala much better than he likes being a winger. So, that was kind of the, the, the impetus, if you will, behind me now doing the experiment using these tactics but also putting some different wingers in the first half and a couple more different ones in the second half and seeing how they perform because it might be a fluke but I've got a strong feeling that uh, like I say wingers make good Mazalas they don't necessarily make good box-to-box -box midfielders or attacking playmakers but because the Mazala is a half winger maybe that's why so without further ado let's go get into the experiment Okay, so first things first with the experiment, as mentioned, we are Juventus, and uh, our game we're actually going to play against is the first game of the season against the Swallow. Now, this is the tactic we're going to be used. This is the 4-3-3 narrow, with the two central Mazalas, central midfield Mazalas, on attack. And obviously, I'm looking to play wingers in those positions. So first up, we have Cristiano Ronaldo, as previously mentioned. Um, I wanted to include him. Arguably the best player in the world, or certainly one of the top three, I would suggest. Um, even at 35 years old, he's absolutely stunning, as you can see with all of these fabulous attributes. But as you can see, he has no... It says he prefers to be on the left in the two-man bearing, but he's ineffectual as a central midfielder, which is part of one of the reasons why I wanted to choose him. So he will be playing as a left-side Mazala, we will say. Next up on our menu, we have Lionel Messi, though I have to say, I've decided not to include him in the main experiment. The reason being is he does already have some familiarity as a central midfielder, whereas the other wingers that I brought in haven't. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to play a game after I've played the experimental game just to see how he gets on, because the fact that he's already got familiarity in that role means he's probably got a better chance of doing better. Um, but 
for the main experiment, like I say, I will use the wingers with no central mid uh, central midfield competency. Um, basically, is the plan. But like I say, I want to see how Messi does. So there'll be a game after, and I'll just show you how he did, so that we can actually see it as a comparison. But uh, that is Lionel Messi. So next up in terms of our wingers, we have Raheem Sterling. And uh, as you can see, he has absolutely no central midfield uh, familiarity whatsoever. So he is the perfect fit for this experiment in terms of uh, we'll see how he actually gets on. Now, theoretically, he's obviously comfortable playing both sides. So uh, given that he's right footed, I'm probably going to be playing him as the right Mazala. But we will see because it does depend on who prefers what. As if, at the moment, yeah, he has no side preference. But as, as you noticed when we looked at Ronaldo... He does have a side preference, even though he doesn't actually have any familiarity in central midfield, so I really don't know what that means. But nevertheless, that is Raheem Sterling. Okay, next on the menu, it is the powerful Kylian Mbappé. Not a lot to be <laughs> not a lot to say about him really, other than he's an absolutely stunning player, of course. Um, and only 21 at that. But again, does not have central midfield familiarity. So again, perfect candidate for this experiment. And last but certainly not least, we brought in Antoine Griezmann. Antoine Griezmann, of course, also has no central midfield familiarity. Um, natural on right and left. I've normally played him as a striker in the rare times I've played with him. So uh, again, perfect candidate and perfect final candidate for our Mazala experiment. Okay, so here we are. It is game time and it's time to test this out. This is our starting lineup. In goal, it's Chesney, a back four of Frambotta, Cellini, Bonucci and Danilo. Defensive midfield, Benton Kerr. Two Mazalas. Cristiano Ronaldo on the left, and Raheem, the Dream Sterling on the right. Kulishevsky is an attacking midfielder, and up front is Dybala, and as we have him here, may as well play Messi. So, also on the bench, as previously mentioned, we do have Griezmann and Mbappe, who will come on at half-time. So, let us get into the match. Um, oh, the other thing to point out is just, as you can see, they're showing us half a star rating for that position. Um which in fairness is the same as what uh, Ryan Giggs shows as well. So we'll see how it goes. This is the whole point of the uh, experiment. So without further ado, let's go face the swallow. So this is how we line up. Um, obviously, what I'm going to do is actually just play this on key highlights and uh, cut out some of the stuff in between. But uh, in order to keep the match relatively short, we hope, um, that is what we will do. And we are off. It's the swallow in the green. And, of course, Juventus in the yellow. And we'll go straight to kick off. Green and black, to be fair, for, for Sassuolo. And I will just double-check that we are on key highlights. We are. And we'll let it go. We are off. Three minutes. Throw in. And it's for Sassuolo. Traore. It's all Sassuolo. That's not good news, is it? No. Juventus. Oh, with a clearance, Ronaldo finds Messi. Dybala's on a run. Sterling now popping out. And he's taken down in the box. Oh, he's going to watch the video. But yeah, as you can see, Raheem just popped out. Boom. Went from being a central midfielder to a wing and a whole half wing, I think, obviously. And the word is penalty awarded. Ronaldo to take it, and it is home. 1-0 to Zebra, less than five minutes in. Danilo to Messi. Messi pulls it back for Benton, Kerr Sterling, out wide. Frambotta with a go, straight into the hands of the keeper. Sterling now on the ball. Again, cuts out right. Looking for an opportunity, gets a cross in, and it's been put across the line for a corner. Dybala to take it cleared and we are back to where we're going as you can see now both Raheem Sterling and Cristiano Ronaldo are already performing above a seven obviously Raheem kind of won the penalty there and uh, Ronaldo scored it but that's our two people we're keeping an eye on once again Kulishevsky with a shot once again Zebra doing their best to take advantage 30 minutes in now obviously Raheem Sterling and Cristiano Ronaldo will come off at half time but we have a highlight Frambotta with the clearance, but only as far as Mulder. 
Bernardi. Rambotta with the save. Ronaldo. Bentenker with the ball forward. Messi to Dybala. And Dybala slots it home. Obviously, Messi makes a very good Trucatista. I'm pretty sure we already knew that anyway, so no surprises there. Sterling and Ronaldo now both showing 7.1 average rating. Lovely, lovely goal there from uh, Dybala. Obviously, Messi and Dybala now are looking pretty good too. To Swallow. With the throw in cleared by Danilo. Only as far as Traore. And they're looking to get back in. Defrel did just score. I wonder if that's offside. It doesn't look like it's going to be called that way. 2-1. So Swallow have pulled one back. So Ronaldo's dropped his game very, very slightly by 0.1 points. In fact, so Sterling, the back down to seven now. It is half time. We are 2-1 up. We are statistically the better team. Um, so what we're going to do is go to the dressing room. Tell them they're doing a grand job. And then take off these two fellas. As you can see... They've come into the half for Steam, Raheem Sterling even, and uh, Cristiano Ronaldo are both on 7.1. So even though this half-star rating, as you can see, they have played quite well as Mazalas, considering they're both inverted wingers. So we'll take Star, we'll take him off and bring on Sterling, even though I didn't call him Sterling. We'll take Sterling off and bring on Mbappe. And for Ronaldo, it's going to be Griezmann. Is that right? Do I want to do that? Yeah, because he's left-footed. We're going to go with that. That's my that's my plan, because he's left-footed. So, other changes? Do we need to make any? I would say not. Cellini's maybe not having the best game in the world, but that's okay. And like I say, this experiment really isn't about the results so much as it is about our wingers playing as Mazalas and see how that goes. As you can see, Mbappe, he's got half a, half a silver star rating as a uh, Mazala, whereas uh, Griezmann does have half a gold star. So we'll see how that affects things, but let's get into the second half. Okay, it's throw in four. So Swallow. Bernardi. Cut out by Griezmann. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness. Griezmann with a dodgy pass back. We got away with that one, boys. That was not good, but uh, so Swallow again. Coming forward, I've put us on the positive. We were unbalanced. But it's also Swallow passing it around. Oh, and Boger has snuck one in. So Swallow have equalised with us. That's not great, is it? I should fire them up. Bear in mind, I haven't adapted this tactic to the Juventus players. I've literally just plugged it in, which maybe was a mistake. But still. Um, but Mbappe and Griezmann playing at 6.7 each at the moment. Chesney with a goal kick. Bonucci. Oh my goodness, gives the ball away. We'll go back to balance because that clearly didn't work for us. In fact, let's go defensive for a minute, see if we can't stop them getting at us. And I'm going to drop that pass back. I realise that's a very high tempo for such short passing, but uh, it certainly worked in the other saves. Cut out there. Griezmann again from Botta with a clearance. Finds Dybala. Dybala's gone past his man. And he takes a shot. Oh, it's just narrowly wide. Excellent, excellent effort there. Messi now delivering a corner, and it is cleared. But Bentenker about to pick up the loose ball. That's a slight improvement on where we were a few minutes ago. Um, in terms of people's performance, Griezmann is now up to 6.8. Sorry, 6.9 even. But Sassuolo are still on the attack. Bonucci, Bentenker, Mbapp. Lovely ball forward. Nobody quite gets on the end. Benton Kerr with the clearance. Mbappe, Cellini, Bonucci. We're keeping the ball here. We're doing a good job. Mbappe now coming forward. And he's just on the edge of the box. Pulls one back. And oh, Kulishevsky. Very, very close. But that is excellent, excellent play there by Mbappe. As you can see, he's now picked up to a 6.8. And Griezmann's on a 6.9, even though we haven't really seen anything from him. Messi finds Dybala. Dybala's one-on-one. -on -one. But he's forced to corner. Messi to take it. Oh. 
Just narrowly nodded wide by Benucci. So yeah, 75 minutes, Mbappe and Griezmann not breaking the 7.0, both at 6.8 at the moment, but that's still a good rating. That's still above average, considering, you know, how they're rated for that role. Boga with the free kick. And it is still also Swallow. Kulishevsky on a yellow, manages the interception. Messi's coming forward now. And he goes past his man. He's one-on-one -on -one and he puts it off the post. Lionel Messi. Goodness gracious. And that is it. That is full time. It is only 2-2. Two -two. But uh, like I say, if we take a look here, Griezmann and Mbappe. Um, you saw that Griezmann only had like half. Sorry, Mbappe only had like half a silver star. 6.8 in that role for just a half. I'm sorry. I still feel when you consider their... Positional familiarity. When you consider their positional familiarity, I think that's actually pretty damn good. So obviously the real test would be to play them for an entire season in that position and see how it went. Um, but certainly in terms of this small sort of experiment, I feel like that has sort of proven that wingers do in fact make pretty good Mazalas. Now, as I say, I'm just going to go and play another quick game and we're going to put Messi in there. Um, and I'm also going to swap out one or two of the others. We'll perhaps put Mbappe up and have Messi in instead of him. And uh, just see how it goes. But I will only show you the final result. And then you can have a look and see how they did in that match too. But it's more important, I guess, just to see how Messi would get on as a Mazala. Like I say, given that he has some central midfield familiarity, I think he'd be pretty good. But yeah, just wanted to show you the end of the match. As I said, I'm going to play Messi in central midfield. As you can see, he did fantastically. In fairness, like I say, he does have... You know, some ability in central midfield. Um, so it wasn't too surprising he did well. Um, Ronaldo, however, didn't have quite such a good uh, first half this time around. He only managed a 6.7. But in the second half, Griezmann came on, managed a 7.2. As you know, Griezmann has... Well, now he goes. He's now got a little bit. He's got makeshift. He's now... Make, after one game... Sorry, two games, technically, in that position. Or two halves, should we say. He's now a makeshift central midfielder, so it's amazing how that's made a difference. And Sterling, not quite as outstanding this time, but still managed a 6.9. As you can see, he now has makeshift as far as his central midfielder uh, rating goes. So my strong belief is that if you go through this and, you know, if I say played out the season, you know, making sure that I kept the likes of Sterling, Griezmann and uh, Ronaldo and uh, Mbappe playing in central midfield as Mazalas, they'd all end up with a little red dot. Well, in fact, I think they'd end up all end up with the green dot, sorry, um, as they would certainly develop. Because, like I say, you've just seen it. They play quite well in those positions. So I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this is sort of reasonable proof that uh, wingers do, in fact, make the best Mazalas. Okay, that is the end of the experiment. Like I say, I wouldn't say it's a 100% definitive proof that uh, wingers make the best Mazalas, but I think it is a very, very strong indication that they do. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think, whether or not you agree uh, with this. And indeed, if you've had any experience yourself, is there any wingers that you've played as Mazalas and how have they done? Um, in the meantime, I've been avoiding relegation. This has been Wingers Make the Best Mazalas, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.